Bitcoin will make here a really, really decisive move in the next coming hours based on this pattern here that I'm going to show you. We definitely have to talk about this. And there is also a lot of other stuff evolving on other charts that I have prepared for you guys. So definitely stick around here until the end and make sure that you subscribe to this channel, like this video and activate the notification bell so that you will never miss out on these important updates. And now let's directly get into the charts here. So I'm here right now on the four hourly chart. And what we can observe here is really interesting that we had here this parallel rising channel, which we have broken to the downside exactly as I had also predicted it that we're going to break down to it and that we will potentially come here to this upward sloping support line. And my bet was that we also going to break this line. I believe that we did not really break this line because uh, we had here also this um, horizontal support coming in at $16,700. And that was here overlapping with the upward sloping support line. So there was just too much support for the bears to actually break through that in the uh, in this attempt. But there could be still uh, the possibility that we're going to break this at a later stage. And I will get to that in a second. So afterwards, we saw here this um, pump here to the upside. And I believe that this whole pump here is a massive, massive bull trap exactly as the title is saying of this video. So why do I believe that this is a bull trap? So first of all, we have here on the four hourly chart, this um, bull pennant, where we are now uh, consolidating in and getting closer to the apex for a potential break to the upside or to the downside. So but uh, one reason why I believe that we are going to break it down is when I look at the stochastic RSI, so here we have already again a sell signal. So and you see here the way how this is here wobbling on the ground is the same what we did here. So which is not looking all too good, you know, so of course we can come out um, of there and do the same thing where stochastic errors. I went here to the upside. So that's definitely possible, but I don't believe that this is going to happen. So another reason why I don't believe this is when I go here to the Bollinger Bands, where do I have them? So now if I zoom out a little bit, squeeze it a little bit together. So we are really close to the top of the Bollinger Bands here. <clears throat> we are a little bit above the middle. So, um, so here's the middle line. So we just bounce off that middle line. So we are just a little bit above the middle. So if I would draw here a line, and say, okay, this is like the middle of the Bollinger Band, and we're a little bit above the middle. <clears throat> so, and the price has to break out of the Bollinger Bands. And when this is happening, the price normally comes back, then the Bollinger Bands is adapting, and then we uh, continue higher. I believe that we break it down from the middle band uh, of the Bollinger Band and test at least the bottom of the Bollinger Band, or even break then here lower. So something what we have seen more or less here. See here the Bollinger Band got tighter and then we saw here move to downside also outside of the Bollinger Bands. So that is something that I'm looking at right now. So and of course there I'm preparing for another short scenario if this is going to happen when we break out of this um, <clears throat> pennant either to the upside or to the downside I'm prepared to take a trade. Uh, let me also show you um, so if we break here to the upside, it is now long. So then I would only long from $17,200 with stop loss just here at the bottom. So in the technical target, so if we treat this as a pole, uh, sorry, as a pennant, um, then the target is all the way up here. So with <clears throat> uh, with almost a four to one risk to re uh, risk to reward ratio. So which is for me absolutely fine. Um, so and the stop loss is then just here 0.78%. So now if you apply 10 x leverage to that, uh, that means you have a 8% risk to lose. Uh, and that's what you're going to lose. So but you can potentially win 30%. Um, so and that is something um, that I'm willing to take it's four to one. So um, why not and to the downside if this would go to the downside and we break it to the downside. So then I would take a trade from here. 
again here uh, all the way up here my stop loss so and then the same pull to the downside so just let me put this a little bit more here to the side so there you go so that is um, a three to one almost so it's 2.68 so it's 2.7 to 1 uh, which is also still fine so but here you see the risk to reward ratio to the upside is appealing you know so it's it's of course really really appealing to take here a long position instead of a short position because you can make more in the long position if it breaks to the upside than to the downside so but uh, I still lean um, to the downside and I will show you now also why I do this but just um, don't forget guys if you want to take either trade um, do this on a buy bit there you still get thirty thousand dollars if you sign up with the link here in the description or in the bio of the uh, of the channel um, or bit get twenty thousand uh, dollar if you sign up with my link but only if you use these links that are in the description guys so now let's go to the next chart so another reason why I, um, why I believe that this is a potential bull trap on um, in that specific case here here with the pennant when I go here to this four hourly chart we see we are also in a bigger rising wedge and we're just consolidating within that so of course we can break to the upside and touch the top of um, the rising wedge here again and then drop all the way down again to 17,000 until we actually break all the way down and you see the target is around $16,000 for this rising wedge so that's why I'm waiting right now um, for a decisive move so we have to break above $17,400 um, for a bullish move to get here into higher levels so or we have to break $17,000 and also here the support zone of $16,900 to $16,750 to get a decisive move here um, into lower regions um, on the Bitcoin price so but we will know in the next couple of hours in which direction it goes so like i said i lean to the bearish side uh, another reason why i um, lean here a little bit to the bearish side is the short and long ratio is more or less 50 50 so there uh, there's no indication for a long squeeze or a short squeeze so and normally when we are more or less balanced we see a bigger move coming another reason um, why i believe a big move could be coming here uh, quite soon is also uh, that we have the CPI data uh, coming out again for a last time this year on Wednesdays so and that could also massively impact the price so I believe this weekly candle will close as it is here uh, today so but I believe next week's candle will be a red one to the downside so that would be an, an evening style um, candlestick pattern in that uh, in that sense if we get here a red candle to the downside and that is um, then signaling further continuation potentially to the downside. So and that could coincide with the uh, Fed meeting on next Wednesday. So don't over leverage guys, be careful out there because I think we have a volatile week in, uh, ahead of us. Guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure that you smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you then again tomorrow.